Okay, we got our first load all the way, or all packed up in my car. Woo! Hello. Hello. Hello, Neiman and Lauren. This is Devin and Ryan. Sakura. We really enjoyed talking That's Dave. with Dave and Ryan. What did I say? Devin. <laughs> this is Dave and Ryan. Sakura. We really enjoyed talking with both of you the other day. We looked over your application and everything looks great. We would love to have you as our tenants if you're still interested. I was getting ready to tell you right about 30 minutes ago that I had a hunch we were going to get some type of notification today from some type of people. Didn't know who, didn't know from where, but gut feeling. Okay, let's do a little bit of explaining. Last video, you guys would have seen Neiman and I going to look at a couple of houses and in the beginning of the year I was looking for a house to actually buy but we've decided that ultimately the best route right now for us is to continue to rent so we want to get this house which is the house with the Airbnb upstairs we want to get this house completely ready and basically set up to have Airbnb running upstairs and then potentially a long-term rental down here or also an Airbnb down here. So we were like, we can't be living here anymore. So we are moving and we got a house, which you guys would have seen in the beginning of this video. And we actually get the keys tonight. So we're super excited, but that also means that we are about to be super duper busy. We love to be busy and be productive. So we've got a lot of packing to do. I've got stuff at my parents' house that we're gonna be packing. We're gonna be taking that bed from over there. And then we were gonna be taking like kitchen stuff from here and just completely packing everything up and moving it over there. But we're gonna do it strategically because we do not want to just have all of this clutter become clutter over there. So we're gonna be getting rid of different things and uh, kind of slowly, gradually move stuff over there over the next uh, several days. So to get started, we're gonna do essentials. Um, I feel like some essentials are kitchen uh, materials, kitchen appliances or dishes and uh, utensils, things like that. So I'm gonna make up a couple of boxes and start just putting stuff in that I know for sure we're gonna be keeping and then maybe have a pile of stuff that we're probably gonna get rid of or at least we're gonna go through it. Okay, we got our first load all the way or all packed up in my car from here. They included kitchen stuff and then Neiman's clothes and maybe a couple other bits and pieces mm -hmm. and so now we're gonna go to my parents house and we're going to load up my bed so that um, when we go sign the lease and get the keys right when they leave we can go ahead and just set up the um, the bed so we can stay there tonight we'll have no Wi-Fi but hey we're gonna have a little pizza party oh can you tell we're excited <laughs> He didn't put a blanket down. That's all we came out here to do. I backed up the truck and I forgot. Good news is the house is about two, maybe probably three miles from my parents' house. So we don't have far to go with this bed owl. It is currently 5.30. Oh wow, we have time to spare. So we're meeting our landlords. I didn't get that. Could you try again? No. Nope. So we're meeting our landlords at 6.30 to sign the lease and get the keys and start moving in. We'll see you guys over there.
Honeyman's watching the Suns game because we don't have Wi-Fi here, so he's watching it on my phone. And we got some pizza and breadsticks. First our dinner. Little, our little living room picnic. I'm Lauren. Welcome to my crib. <laughs> All right, guys, we're going to do just a quick little house tour. It's not going to go into too much depth, but basically you come in the front door and you go up the stairs. Oh, some nice stairs. And you're in the living room area, which we love. It's very open and plenty of room for like a big couch, a TV. And then over here is like the dining area. So probably lay a rug, do a little dining table. This is all eventually. Um, and then when you go up the stairs, you can either go in the kitchen or you can come over here and go in the kitchen. So love this kitchen. I do wish it was like more open to the, you know, living room and stuff, but I mean, it's nice. Uh, got some nice cabinets. That she says she already wants to paint. <laughs> of course. <laughs> I do want to paint these cabinets, which, you know, the landlords, obviously we just kind of met them and are building rapport, but definitely possibly an option in the future, which is super cool. Um, really nice fridge and a stove. We'll have to get ourselves a microwave and then the dishwasher is holding the camera right now, if you know what I mean. <laughs> um, and then we got our pantry full of our stuff that we hid from you guys. And then if you come down the hall, we've got first a coat closet here, plenty of space to hang our, you know, coats. Very nice. And then you come in here and this is the most quirky part of the house. Um, which says something because we've had a lot of quirkiness in houses. This is the bathroom and it comes in, here's the sink, here's the toilet. So this is like the main bathroom that like guests and stuff will use. And then it's in here, sh it shares a shower bathtub situation with the master suite bathroom. So this is the sink and toilet for the master. There's like literally five doors, like right in this little area, maybe four. And then you come in here and this is the master bedroom. So this is where we'll have our bed and get it all set up nice and cozy. And where the magic happens. Magic, 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 magic. And then there's two closets. And so this closet will be Neiman's closet. It's, I mean, it's pretty, pretty good size. I mean, you could do a little dancing in here. Do a little dancing in here. And then uh, my closet is gonna be over here. Brought her. Where we can do lots of dancing. That's the sixth time she dropped her phone today. You hold it. Yeah, so that's gonna be my closet because I have substantially more clothes than he has. And then I might even look into like hanging another bar here. And then, so this is the other entrance for the master bedroom through the hallway. So if you were to keep going, that'd be like the normal entrance there. Basically. And then there's two other bedrooms. Um, and then there's like a little linen closet here at the end of the hallway. And then the last bedroom is here. So we're thinking this will be like a guest bedroom to where if we ever have anybody that wants to stay over, they can stay in here. It has its own little closet right there. And then the last room up here is this room. And it is gonna actually 
act as my office, which I'm kind of excited about. It'll be like an office slash just like hangout reading nook area. And I'll probably have one of the beautiful velvet chairs over here in the corner that I can read in. And then a desk over here. And then some storage over here for my Cricut and things like that. And then there's also um, a nice size closet in here for maybe any of my overflow clothes. Yeah, you know how it goes. Um, and then let's head downstairs. So here's the downstairs. This is the garage. We'll show you more in depth uh, the garage later on, but it is gonna be absolutely perfect for furniture flipping. Uh, we just got a little closet here. This is like a good storage, like an understairs storage. And then we've got laundry room. Super exciting. I know. Um, washer dryer comes with the house. So super uh, convenient there with a little extra toilet and sink um, just for when we're down here. And then some storage over here. And then all that jazz you guys don't really care about. And then this is like the main basement area. Uh, probably gonna be some sort of like, it even said man cave, but maybe just like another hangout spot down here, slash man cave. Like he's not very man cavey, so you know, we'll, we'll, we'll figure it out. We'll have some like seating maybe down here and just a little hangout spot for him to chill. But I was also thinking like a staging wall area too for a supplemental scene for furniture over there. Yeah. Or maybe over here. I don't know. TBD. Guys, he doesn't know what he's talking about sometimes. All right, and then in here, this is like, it can't be coined as a bedroom because of the windows. They're not egress windows. You know how that goes? So it's technically like a bedroom size, but this is going to be where Neiman's office is. And then I'll come intrude whenever I feel like it. Um, he'll have like, I don't know the exact setup just yet. We haven't really thought about it. He sometimes likes to look out. So I think he'll probably have his L shaped desk here and then maybe a little, I don't know, hangout spot or some storage for all of his cameras and all that gear. And then also a closet for his shenanigans. That hurt. Yeah. And then that's basically it. So we're super excited. Um, it is getting a little bit late. We didn't get the keys to the house, like I said, until like 6.30. So we have a couple of things that we need to get out of the uh, cars. Um, and then we're gonna call it a night because both of us are very tired and we are ready to uh, start a new day tomorrow. So we gotta get the bed out of the truck and that honestly might be as far as we get tonight. <laughs> 8.38. Let's get it in by nine. That's what she said. Hey everybody, where are your new neighbors? We got the house. My job to tackle all of that in the Jeep. Let's do it. Got our first thing of laundry already, but we've come prepared. Now 
now I'm just going to put the curtain up like this. Um, obviously that won't be the end all be all, but for now, tonight, that is what I am going to do. We've got our pillows, like so. And we are good to go. So this is super duper basic. Still got a lot to do, but we just wanted to get in. We we're so excited to finally just be living together again, um, having our own space. We dearly love my parents, but uh, we're just ready to have our own space again and be together. And we have a really awesome garage that I'm so excited to share with you guys. Um, but that is going to be the end of this vlog. So if you are just loving the content here, you want to see us just what we do with the house and any more content like that, be sure and hit that subscribe button and the thumbs up button. And we would love to have you a part of our community and a part of our family. So welcome to On the Flip Side with Lauren and Neiman. If you didn't know, this is actually like a little bit of a spin-off channel, vlog, lifestyle, behind the scenes of everything um, that we do on our main channel, which is Furniture Flipping Teacher, which um, on every Thursday I flip furniture over there. So we would love to have you over there as well if that is something that you are interested in. But for now, we just want to say thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you on the flip side.